still on the foreign news, according to the White House, foreign students in the United States may be deported back to their home countries if their classes go entirely online. They would only avoid this if they switched to an institution with classroom tuition. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, many educational establishments have moved to online learning. We now have Augustine Chidera Achu, who is a U.S.-based Nigerian and also uh, who had stud studying also in the U.S. Good to have you, Mr. Achu. Thank you so much, Amaka, for having me on your program. Thank you. I do know that it's 3 a.m. where you are, so thank you so very much for obliging us. Let's go straight into the matter. Uh, what do you know about this development? Please bring us up to speed very quickly. All right, so um, on Monday, July 6, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement here in the U.S. announced that international students will have to leave the U.S. or transfer to another school if their, uh, 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 their current school have to um, transition all classes to, to online. So they have to transfer to another school that has in-class uh, instruction. So this announcement you know, has thrown the leadership of these colleges and universities and especially international students into uncharted territories, given that they are still trying to cushion the economic and psychological and other effects of the pandemic mm. on, their, on their future. So it's, uh, that's what they're dealing with now, right. students and the uh, leadership of the school. All right, yeah. you graduated from a prestigious university there in the US and looking forward to apply for your PhD. What is the implication of this uh, decision? Should it prevail? You know, um, policies change and or they get modified and there's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, information out there, pleas and, and things going on. And we hope that things, uh, things change. But in, in this case, I'm going to speak generally. Um, you know, with this pandemic and its effect here in the U.S. and around the world, you can, you can be sure to say one thing, you know, it, nothing is sure for certain. Uh, we are in very rough, uncharted waters right now. Uh, I can only hope that this doesn't hamper my chances of getting into a doctoral program of my choice, mm. you know, that fits my need, be it online or in-person classes. You know, I just hope that, you know, it doesn't limit my opportunities. So, right. I, you know, you only keep, uh, you know, mm. an open space here for that. I, I can only imagine how worrying this news is for, you know, many Africans like yourself, you know, who have left their country to seek better education in the U.S., if you like. So what are your counterparts saying? How does this affect them? I, I'm aware you've been talking to fellow Africans there. You know, um, Amaka, this is, uh, this is a very horrible situation. I can, I can speak for them. I've been talking to a lot of my friends. And, you know, um, um, be, it, be, be it whoever you are everywhere, it's, it's a very bad situation that is affecting them already. I mean, they have a lot of a lot on their plate now, you know, uh, with the pandemic, they have to, to, they're trying to get into reasonable internship during a pandemic to satisfy degree requirements. I mean, they don't have to do it, you know, left for them in a pandemic, but they have to do it for, you know, for a degree requirement. They're trying to figure out other means, you know, to, to, to satisfy their basic needs, you know, since their on-campus jobs has gone with the pandemic, shutting down the schools, and you know, the economic uh, effect of COVID is hitting back their home base financial support badly. And now they have to hope that, you know, the schools, their schools don't transition to, you know, an, an online class, you know, format entirely, you know, you know, they are hoping at least that schools could, you know, give them, you know, the, the, the opportunity to take the minimum required credits to maintain, you know, uh, uh, their, their immigration status. You know, while at the same time, you know, this is a very horrible part of this, uh, you know, uh, 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 they, 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 if, they, if they have to be in, you know, in in-class instruction, they and their faculty will have to navigate means of managing the pandemic in the classroom. You know, the pandemic, you know, managing everything, you have to have social distancing, wear masks, sanitize surfaces, etc. So, you know, it's, it's a very tough situation that this announcement, this policy is putting them in, you know, when they have to, they, they have the chance or the option, you know, should, they, should the administration, you know, have it that way for them to, you know, attend the, for their classes in a, in a very safe way by doing it online while being in the United States, you know, instead of being forced out, you know, taking, you know, forced out of the United States or, or you know, take uh, 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 right. in class uh, instruction.